Hey guys, I'm Miles Vayner. Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Where we last left off was that we basically, uh, darn, I forgot almost. Yeah, we were basically back on the main quest again in the last episode. We basically was able to get back into it, and we finished up like a few couple of like main quest stuff, uh, including saving a lady off in the pirates who she paid or she was going to pay the pirates for taking her to. Uh, I don't think it was Mykonos. It was like another island we've been to that was, uh... Masara? No. Like, she said she wanted to, uh, get the pirates to take her to some place here, I believe. Chaos, I think? On, or was it... No, it wasn't Chaos. I remember it was an island, specifically, that we visited once. I think it was Seraphis. Might have been Seraphis. But it was like, uh... We, we basically had to take her back and stuff like that. And then we met another guy who's a Spartan uh, in the last episode. We, he had a really awesome cutscene, honestly. That, that was a fantastic cutscene. I liked that uh, cutscene in the last episode. And we were able to fight alongside him, so... But anyways, the point is, we're going to continue to help a girl. Um, or to help these ladies with their issues of... Uh, yeah, their issues with their... Where, with this monger who's just trying to put fear into them and stop their business for some reason, which makes zero sense to me because this business has nothing to do with any of the cultists' agenda, but I guess the guy just, the monger just probably wants a piece of their money, I guess, because he sounds like he's just a greedy bastard who just takes whatever business and try to, oh, oops, takes whatever business and kind of like tries to make it as his own kind of thing. Also, sorry about the me attacking there. I got too used to controls with uh, Hades. I've been playing Hades a lot, as I mentioned. Uh, occasionally, you hear me talk about like games that I'm playing outside of the channel. Um, if you're wondering why I don't play it on the channel itself, uh, one of which is probably due to me just kind of wanting to get it, wanting to get into it as quickly as possible without having to record. Uh, some games I actually do enjoy playing outside of the channel because I get actual, like, I get to play it when I feel like it. And on top of that, it's just, I don't have to stop and wait for the next day to record it or stuff like that, so. And plus it's very, plus Hades is very highly repetitive, so it's like, I'm afraid that you guys might get bored immediately after the same runs constantly. And, and then when I fail, it's like, eh. And then each run, like... If I fail a run, it basically makes me do the whole thing again if I'm not good at it, so... Anyways. Good, you found me! <clears throat> Shh. What are you doing here? I heard the Mali's talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. Fine. But you have to do as I say. No games. I know that already, because you never let me have any fun. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the Mali's client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying. And I heard him mumbling to himself. Hmm? He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Let's hear it. Let me think. Um, he said something about having to meet someone at Faye's <coughs> pig farm tonight. That could help. It could. Did he mention why? To get something from them. <coughs> a deed to some land, I think he said. Well, that's something. What else? Oh, he said their name. Dinomenis. Wonder who that is. Good to know. Thank you, Phoebe the spy. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Okay. Quiet like a mouse. Good. But if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. Well, I mean, this is going to become troublesome nonetheless, I feel like. Because... Of the fact that I might not be like sure like which conversation choices might work out for this. I'm very worried. <clears throat> Do I know you? No, but I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back this very night. No Miron? one sent me. We need to talk. I know you're up to something. Something? Something could be anything. You have nothing on me. Oh, there it is. Uh, pig farm. You're going to <clears> this <throat> pig farm. And meeting some like-minded person there, I hear. Where did you hear that? You're wrong. Dead wrong. 
Uh, deed? They owe you a deed to some land. What that land will be used for, I don't know. A spy? What else do you have on me? Cough it up. Uh, uh oh god, this is the weird one I don't know. Diamenes? The Nomenis will be quite upset if I don't let you meet him tonight. How? What do you want? I know about the Malis. And as her client, you seem to think she owes you something. I do love her, you know? With my whole heart. Are you sure? Yet, you're scaring her. Better me than another more careless man. Either I hurt the malice or I'm killed. That's not love. It's weakness. True. You say it as though I don't know. He knew that too. That's why he's making me. Who's Ooh. making you? Tell the Mollis I'll stop. That I'm sorry. Fine. Here, old man. Okay, so... Technically, all the conversation points that literally that uh, Phoebe said to me was literally the thing I had to use <laughs> against him. I was like, I, I mean, it's not long ago, so it tests my short-term memory. But at the same time, what would have happened if, you know, if I went wrong with that, I wonder. It makes me wonder, like, what would have happened if I made a mistake in one of those lines? Would he just turn around and force me to fight him, I guess? Let's see what we found. Also, I had. I wonder what this means. That looks like a scorpion. That little machine contraption thing. It looks like a scorpion. But yeah, I, I have a pretty strong short memory, short term memory. I think maybe long term might be a little bit flawed, but not by much. I think uh, middle term memory is probably where I'm probably gonna struggle a little bit with. Anyways, uh, why the freaking coin What's purse? This? A coin purse? <laughs> These things aren't very nice, though. If he's rich, why have all that junk? He must have just gotten paid. Maybe. That might be true. I've seen that iron poker used before. Oh, yeah. He didn't have a furnace. Why does he have this? It's not used for fire. It's a weapon. For torture. I saw someone use it in Fokis. Someone huge. Huge like the monger? Just like the monger. Interesting. I mean, at the same time, yeah, I did remember somebody using, like, a fire stick onto the the false prophet, the lady that they paid to do the thing. Or, like, somewhere nearby that area, I guess, where they had the, the lady, uh, the lady with the fake prophecy thing. What does the letter say? It's mean. It says he'll get hurt if he keeps doing things wrong. Oh. Yeah, I thought as much. And it says more, that he needs to bring the Malis to a place here in Corinth. Oh, There's no. directions. What do you think it is? Don't know, but I'll find out. Right behind you. Mm -mm. Not this time. Go to the Malis and wait for me there. Oh, please. You've done enough for today. It could be dangerous. I'll come find you after. Fine. Oh, I, I almost forgot. I got the sword from you from his house. Uh, wow. Wait, what? <laughs> You're a good thief. Just takes whatever. The Malis. Prison? I should find out. Yeah. Oh, that machine contraption thing is probably not a part of what she picked up. It's just sitting there as a prop, I guess. What hap What's happening in the mysterious house? Got it. Alright, where is this mysterious place? Okay, it's just a little bit down the road. Okay. Um, let me see the sword and, like, get it out of the way. We're almost leveled up, though. Let me see how much levels we got left. Or how much XP left. Uh... Three, 3 plus 25 is 28. So 20, 28,000 more XP. And then we should be able to level up. But yeah, overall, I think if Phoebe keeps following us, she could potentially end up dead. I feel like this might end up having a decision tree that might... Or a, uh, a branching situation where she might end up dead. Which I don't want Phoebe to die, but... It keeps doing... If she keeps doing that, she's gonna keep pushing herself closer and closer to situations where I can't save her, and that's not a good sign for me, personally. Abron's house? I'm stealing that, because nobody saw that. <laughs> nobody can see it from there. Um, the house is right around here. Okay, this is the Abron's house. There seems to be a captain in here, so we might as well just do that. No, I want to try to freaking... Okay, there we go. I was like... I want to scan out everything first before we move forward in here because I want to make sure we're not fighting too... 
I just want to make sure we're not fighting too heavily in here, so... Did they tell you? Some Macedonian guy is trying to sell us longer steers. Really? Huh. What do we need to do? Rip all over us, most likely. Now I'm bored. Always been an axe man, my sense. Huh? No, I wanted to do the assassination. Actually, yeah. Victory! Oh, okay, there's the guy. Okay, cool. The guy I sent in there is like going to distract them. Oh wait, did they just did they detect me? I guess maybe that's why they they're like in between things right now. Holy hell! Holy heck, dude! <laughs> I think that's my allies, like, just doing crazy stuff, really. Holy hell, dude. This is crazy. I actually never tried this before, so this is my first time actually using this ability, at least. Okay, so they ignore the... So they basically ignore ignore that person after that. Okay, makes sense. There we go. I keep climbing up and just air assassinating these people. I mean, at least that kind of saved me a little bit of an effort to dealing with these enemies at least. My god, I just want to like... I just want to like just assassinate them, but I can't. Okay, let me do this. I gotta do a rush assassination. Anybody home? There we go. Yeah, I needed to do the rush assassination to kind of quicken that fight there. Right, let me take whatever I can here because reasons. Alright, let me see. There was a chest inside the building, so we're gonna do that later. It's blood. Lots of it. Oh, this place is covered in like Oh, that's cool. They did they hide the whole like area there. Okay, let me smash through here. Oh, there it is. Kind of small room. Chains? Oil? This can't be what I think it is. It's, uh... It's s and basically. <laughs> In my opinion, that's what it is. Look over here. It smells familiar somehow. Smells familiar? How do you know it smells familiar? Also, the bounty. What do you mean, bounty? Is there a mercenary nearby? Uh, what the oh hell? God. What is this? Why is there all these, like, imprinted, like, body shapes on the walls? Gotcha! All right, you little shit. Who sent you? I knew it. Phoebe, come on. See? Now I can't do this what peacefully. What are you doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave, Phoebe. Now. Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you on. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Yeah. Rude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sex, Andron. And the monger will be satiated. Oh. Because he is worm. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you. Yep. So this is the monger's like secret like dungeon-ish kind of area, I guess. Judging from how it looks like. Yeah, this is his sex dungeon basically, but this is like also a part it's partial sex and partial torture in terms of like trying to get his enemies to bend to his doing this which is kind of messed up though like that's that's kind of weird that they will take anybody and put them in there and then force them into whatever bidding they the monger wants them to do that's kind of stupid though like why the hell do you think that that that's a good thing the heck lady don't walk away All right, what is she going to say now? Cassandra, your little friend beat you back. Thanks. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Cassandra. Knew it. 
It's all right. You had good intentions. I thought I could sneak in, like before. I'm glad you didn't. Especially with what I found there. What happened to you? I just left the monger sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. <clears throat> Instructions. In into how to kidnap what her. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. Almost. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. He'll leave you alone now. He gave me his word. So, we really can trust you, can't we? We're not all so easily blackmailed. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? Hephaestos uh, Workshop. Located northwest of Pandora's Cove in Malice. Offers unique services. Visit his location about new engraving tiers. Oh, is it because I maxed out one of the engravings, maybe? Because I know that I... Oh god, what is this? Who is this mercenary? Oh my god, he's way behind me, isn't he? Yeah, he's way far in the back here. Why are you even here? Also, this guy's outfit looks cool. This guy with the hat, or the lady. Yeah, it's like a shield. For a second when I saw that, I was like, wow, that looks interesting. Because it's like a different silhouette compared to a lot of the other enemies that I've seen so far. Wait, what? Oh, I see. They were just they were just loading in slowly, but no, I'm I'm trying to focus on getting the higher tier end enemies because I really want to get rid of more of these guys so I can like literally be able to get to the top tier. Uh, we leveled up, but let me look in the inventory. I'm not gonna set the abilities just yet until we walk out of here because we're gonna get into a fight here by by no means necessary, but. Let me also mark the thing off. So, Monger down. Talk to Enth Enthusa in her house. So we're gonna go do that. Yeah, we got a bounty on our hands, so we gotta get out of there before we get caught up with whatever it is there. Cultist clue nearby. Oh. Can I scan it out with... What do you mean cultist clue nearby? I mean... I'm confused by what they meant by that. What do you need? Sorry, I was just looking at my hand because it was itchy still. Uh, itchy from some bite. Uh, let's get rid of these. Get all these weapons out of the way. Wait, am I dis I'm dismantling them. Oops. My bad. I was supposed to sell it and I was pressing X instead of A. Alright, so we need... So we got enough leathers, pretty much. I don't know how I got that much leather. I'm guessing because part of it was me just... Gathering it, I guess, maybe? I can't remember why I got that much. Um, so this is the lowest one, the belt. The belt is needing 10,000. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to see which one is lower. So the belt is one of them for... The first thing I need to upgrade. And the... Bow and arrow might be I'll next. See you soon. Yeah, so I I thought I like. Okay, so we leveled up, so we let's let's use the ability first, and then I will probably look into the other stuff first. I was thinking that I like use some of the resources with the ship, but I guess not. Yeah, let's upgrade this because this thing actually ended up being pretty useful, actually. Like they ended up being able to. They ended up being able to distract, but also kill enemies quickly for me in that. Uh, in that particular situa situation that I needed it to. Okay, yeah, we do have enough resources for this. Thankfully, the resources are a lot less now, but at the same time, it still requires a lot more money still, nonetheless. All right, um, I'm going to upgrade the ones without the leathers again, as I mentioned. I'm going to always try to upgrade without the leather stuff. Um, sure, why not? Yeah, I don't want to keep upgrading the javelin, but the javelins are the ones without the leather necessary to upgrade. I do want to upgrade these things, but they all require leather. So I'm going to hold back until I upgrade a good chunk of the other ones first. I know that we should probably be upgrading the bow and arrows, but we do have a we do have an, a, a lieutenant 
who's more about the javelin side of things, so that's pretty pretty good, I'd say. Alright, cool. Alright, let's move into and and en Enthesa? Enthusia? Enthesa? I'm wondering who is what cultist clue there was. They said something about the cultist clue. Somewhere around here. Unless it was because I finished the quest that maybe it came up, I guess. Yeah, I don't know yet. Kind of weird that there's a cultist clue out of nowhere here. Alright, let's get to en Enthusa then, for the time being. Actually, maybe the clue actually ends up opening up the... The mongers thing in the cultist... The cultist thing. Maybe. Um, I don't know which one is the... That's Achia. An arena. This is to continue my main missions to get to it, I guess. Also continue my main missions to get to that. Thera. Naval battle. An island. Focus in the wolf den. I forgot about that. I should have probably visit that later on when I can go back to that and see how that goes. Grinthia, obviously that's nearby probably. All right, let's let's continue this anyways. I think that's the guy we're looking for. That's the that's the cultist that we're probably going to be hunting down here pre pretty much probably. Leader house. Why are we near the leader's house? Pornia Pornion. Your plan seemed to work. The mongers' thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Me or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. Oh. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Really? Brasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead. But wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. Oh, do I have the option to actually do both of them? My assumption is that if I do kill this guy in the theater, I won't get a chance to... If I kill the monger in the theater, it will be grand, grandiose, but also in the fact that it's going to be interesting. But at the same time, when it comes to the cave... I could, I, I could probably find some secrets to another cultist that I may have not killed or fought before. So that could be a case where that would be more useful. But at the same time, the guy did say that it could cause a problem. So I can do stealth, honestly. I can handle that. I agree with Vrasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place and he'll die. A simple transaction, remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the sacred cave. Because I don't want to... I, I, I'm fearful of how Corinthia might end up because... This business could end up going under because of the fact that the they get a bad reputation under them. So... The way to do this would be best to be to... Uh, oh, this is a fountain? Pretty nice. I like this. It's pretty interesting. Pretty random, but pretty interesting. Um, but it's just a matter of, like, having to deal with somebody who's going to expose this business and, like, ruin it at the same time. Um, because it could make the business look bad, and I don't want that business to... I don't want her, her girls to become, like, hated by this town and get kicked out of the town. So, I think doing it secretly will save their face. Save them face, and also prevent people from getting outraged by the fact that somebody could die uh, in front of them. Really? Here of all places? You have to deal with me? Okay, you know what? I might pay the bounty out. I might pay this bounty out because I'm just annoyed by the fact that it's like, I'm not necessarily needing this. Oh, I don't even have enough money. Okay, fine. I'll kill this guy in front of anybody if I have to. Where is this freaking ass? Oh, that's a chest I don't care about. Oh, wait, that's all the freaking enemies? <laughs> oh, that's the monger's, like, location, I guess. 
Okay, that's nothing. That's those are thugs, common thugs, I bet. Uh, right here. There you are. Soul Taker. Cal Calaria Soul Taker. Oh, she has some nice face tattoos. But she's sadly a little bit of a less. She's, she's less. Yeah, she's like a little less in levels than I am. So, or just one, one level less. What is that animal? Is that a bobcat? Really? She's taking a bobcat with her. All right. Well, I'm not gonna deal with her. Never mind. I don't know if she will. She'll probably follow suit, which is gonna be a problem right now. But she might follow her instinct and try to find me somehow. Instinct, quote unquote. I mean. Just my imagination. All right. Well, I need to make sure I can get to her without the bobcat in my way. So that might be my case of what I'm gonna do here. I'm wondering if, like, if I unlock the ability to tame animals, can I tame their animals by a chance? That would be so hilarious. That'd be super hilarious. I don't know if you can even assassinate an animal. You can't assassinate an animal, is it? Alright, well, I guess she's just walking around. My fear is that if I do try and assassinate her, people are going to probably get involved with a fight against us, so or in between us, so I don't want that at all. Okay, well, she's walking away, so I'm probably going to ignore her presence for now, because I want her to not get in my way in any shape or form, because I'm in need to just... I just need to do this mission without getting involved with a freaking mercenary out of nowhere. She's turning around. That's such a dick move. Okay, whatever. Like, she just turns around right as I walked away. That is such a rude thing to do. Pause and read that, obviously. Because I'm busy trying to hunt some stuff down. Hunt some people down. Oh, I swear. I swear if she goes into this cave with me, I would be pissed. Alright. Let me... Take what I can and also... We did kind of scan out the area, so that's pretty... Pretty good. Also, it makes zero sense. I realize this, but I never think about it much, but... I realize that... My own ego can actually, like, scan out enemies from above underground it's like i don't get it still this looks like i cannot like actually it looks like i have to actually legitimately like fight them here why do i hear like somebody at, like anything right now strange Oh wow, okay, well the other guy didn't see me. Alright, there we go. Don't tell me the mercenary came in here. Oh no, he's, she's just up there, pretty much. She's just like upstairs, just like... Like, probably her proximity is too close to my area. I was like, don't tell me she just walked in here just thinking that she knows where I'm at. Because it makes zero sense to me. You don't stand a chance. There we go. Got the sniper kill. Headshot. This is the end for you. I don't know about that, buddy. Fuck you. <laughs> I just like how they're just like, remain. You need to be anonymous. I am anonymous right now. Nobody can find me. Lol. I'm just bouncing around here. Oh, there we go. Ow. 
I could have just like fought this guy without having to get involved with anything. Come on, buddy. I don't know what he's hitting on to, but he's just hitting on to something. There we go. Sweet. Alright, we need to remain more anonymous now. Alright, cool. I assassinated everybody in that group. So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, <laughs> arrogant. Just like your mother. Oh? This guy knows our mother. What the heck, dude? That is so random. That is like super random, though. You'll never rule these oh. streets, you pig. Oh, you bet your pretty face no. I will. No, get your filthy hands. And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof. Oh, okay. That's a weird scene, though. Just to make it so microly, like, could have just been him just stating it without having to flashback. It's a waste of time what? to go do that. You knew? Oh, I fucking knew her all right. She was big fucking trouble. But I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head. Okay, well... Demos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get uh... the fuck out of my city. It's not yours anymore. Yeah. Get the fuck off my streets. <laughs> I hate his dialogue. His dialogue is so boring and terrible, but I mean, I understand his character. He's supposedly kind of dumb as a person, but holy hell, where is he? Where was that? Dude, where was his thing? This one? But it doesn't show where it is on the map, on this little grid. It just says that he's he's a cultist and that's it. Is this him? Yeah, it is him. Okay. That is such a weird image because his hair is brown here and then his image is actually where he's black haired. I wonder if the, the UI person probably noticed that or if they just changed it uh, post release. I mean, I already killed your men, dude. Ow. Alright, here we go. I mean, this is not difficult. This is like almost like similar to the stupid. Minotaur, like a little bit less than the Minotaur, a lot less. Come on. Ah. Whoa. Hello. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Why is the mercenary coming in again? Yeah, the mercenary is coming in here. Why? Why are you coming in here with? This is not fair. This is not fair, buddy. No! Why is the mercenary in here? I don't get it. Oh, come on. Well, it's gonna hurt the other guy too as well, I think. I'm here to fight the cultists, not you, you freaking moron. This is why I hate the mercenary system sometimes. They don't need to show up when they, when they are not needed. Okay, there we go. Let me move closer to this guy. Oh, oh. Why is the bobcat in my way, please? Why are you in my way, please, lady? Can you get away? Oh god, oh jeez. I'm here to fight this guy. I'm not here to fight the other lady. God dang it. It's so annoying. Okay, well, ah, sheesh. Let me kill the bobcat. Okay, never mind. Ah. Let me kill the bobcat because the freaking thing is gonna get in my way. Oh, the other guy's dead already, but. Okay, yeah, the other guy's dead already, so that's good. Oh, no, 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 no. Fighting me doesn't make you any better. Oh, god dang it. I'm trying to, like, get to her, but she's like... Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> just in the water. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, 
Son of a gun, dude. Oh, he, I get to talk to him before he dies. Okay. Wish I could have been there to watch Thebos break your neck. Don't he won't. make me laugh. Wait, no! Okay. The people of Corinth must see him die. Anthusa. Take him out of here and bring him to the theater. Show everyone he's cowardice. See, I don't know if that's a good idea, because again, that's gonna ruin her image. They're gonna make Corinthia look bad, but at the same time, it might get on her rough side, and she will end up trying to never help me ever again, and that's the problem. We we made the deal with her, so I have to... I want to not kill them in public, but... <sighs> okay, here's my deal. She brought this upon herself, that she wanted to bring him to the theater and let him die. But guess what? If it if it ruins her image of like what Corinthia is gonna end up looking like in the future, that's not in my hands. That is on all of her hands. I I'm only here for that information. As a mercenary, I should have I shouldn't be caring about the city as much as what they are or the reputation as much as a mercenary. But I had to play this like a mercenary, so I have to like follow her rules. Uh, fine, lead the way. Also, that to mercenary. The theater, for all to see him as he really is. I killed the other mercenary and I didn't get her reward, damn it. The, the mercenary killed the bobcat and the leather and everything. Damn it, I should have taken that before, but I couldn't pick it up because the guys. People of Corinth, behold the weasel that steals your bread, the scourge that spoils your crops. That's not a lot of people there. You've waited long enough to get your hands on him. And the pleasure is all mine. Maybe she's a cultist as well. I don't even know. Uh, that is a really sad death. Ew! Really? You have to give that to me there? <laughs> Feel better. I have been starving for this. Yeah, they deserved all of it. Uh... And you deserve your answers. Come, let's speak in private. I I mean. Uh, I don't know. I just I just don't know about that. I I, I thought that would have ruined Corinthia in some capacity due to the reputation of theirs, but I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. Oh, he sent you here, after all. That's true. There's more to him than meets the eye. Eh. He knew you could save Gordon from that beast. Maybe. It's no secret that I'll also benefit from his death. True. Let's talk. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface. But she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. Probably lost in losing uh, Cassandra or Deimos, I guess, rather. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father would think of that. <laughs> I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Made sense. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. Oh. She could have stayed with us. But I think she was looking for something else. Probably a trip somewhere else. Because if you're looking at the port, you're technically wanting to escape something. Or try to leave to sail off to somewhere. Was there no mention of her past? A husband? Family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. Hmm. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. Ah, oh, come on. Everyone said she no. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did she owed her that much, at least? I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Oh. Siren Song. It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. 
Interesting. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Cassandra. Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Gordon's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. I so hope do so. Siren Song. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her. I should have enough information now. I oh wow. To Athens to see Aspasia. Why do I need the monger's men? The monger's men's outfit looks stupid. I'm sorry. What, what was the rain doing? The rain just disappeared like after an instant of showing up. The sage just has great wealth and the sage wants Persida's dead. Oh, so this sage is going to be related to the Persida's. Uh, Persida's is like sort of like, I guess his storyline or something like that. Yeah, this the mongers look stupid. They're all bold men. I guess some people might like that though. I don't like that. That's preferably. Be this is preferably better because there's at least some people who have hair. These guys. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with bald men. Honestly, I, I I apologize. I I I took myself a little bit away from my thinking here. But I'm saying like they look like. I don't know. It's not the baldness. I think it's just the add-on to it. The fact that they're wearing like terrible outfits, like they're the thugs and everything. It's just. The, the bandits that we fought earlier, it's just like, why? Just why? Why are they doing that to themselves? Yeah, I'd rather stick with the ladies. I, I'd rather stick with the ladies here. There's not a lot of female crewmates or crews, at least, which kind of sucks a lot, but... I wish there was a little bit more variety with the female-male kind of things, because, I mean, considering that there's... Giving more options with female, like, crew, you can build that sort of, like, female crew sort of thing going on. I think if I didn't have like uh, the DLCs from from buying this game's Ultimate Edition, I would have probably would have like been sad because I couldn't live up with the idea with having the whole female crew kind of going on. Nice to have that at least. Alright, anyways. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to go back to Athens to talk to the leader. I forgot what's his name. Alright, cool. Also, let me double check some stuff on the map to see if there's any side quests around here. If anything, I might need to go for hunting in the next episode. So that'll be the next thing we'll do in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching anyways. I forgot to, to, to start ending the episode, but that's because we ended up having a lot of things going on in one place. Uh, so we were pretty much got getting caught up with that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode and nobody minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. Well, good night. Or whenever you're watching this. In the next episode, we will go ahead and probably go for one of these quests first. Before we move forward back to Athens to talk about our results so far. One of these guys are very close by, isn't it? Let me see the regions. Corinthia, Angolias. Arcadia definitely is one of them. And Laconia is the other one. That has two of the animals I need to deal with. But where's the other two? What was the other... Where, where, where are the other two animals going from? Man, I just hate that this is a long list of, like, quests. But, I, I mean, I'm getting closer to finishing, finish, finishing as much as I can for these bad boys. Kythera and... Kythera and Ellis. I think Ellis is, like, nearby. Yeah, Arcadia as well. So, it's literally these three region. And... Kythia or Kythia is probably like far away from where we're at. Kythia, Kythia. Where's Kythia? My goodness, where is Kythia? Or Scy Scythia, I don't know. But it's with a K, so I don't I don't know if Kythia is like Oh, there it is. Kithia is, like, literally south of... Okay, so it's just literally this whole Congo line of, like, what, like islands to go through. Which, I believe these islands probably house a few more cultists I have not gotten to yet. So we'll probably be getting to them later. Um, and we do have, like, a few of these branches kind of, like, almost done. So we'll probably get there sooner or later. Um, Alright, is there any sort of other things I need to think about? So I might go and do the Arcadia run, I guess. Yeah, because I want to take a detour and probably go here, I guess. What is this? Okay, that doesn't show me anything about the question mark, the golden question mark. 
Golden Fields, and that would go into Arcadia. Yeah, let me, let's go into Arcadia, and uh, I'll pretty much fast travel to there to kind of start ourselves in the next episode. So let's go into Arcadia and hunt down one of the animals. Uh, alongside get hunting the animals, we'll probably do whatever side quest is in there, and probably whatever cultists we can find in that particular region. Because I have a feeling there will be one, at least, at least one of the cultists is there, so that I can just start slowly, like, covering the other side of the map. Because there's a huge chunk of, like, the other side of the map that I've not touched yet. And I, I have a feeling that it's better to start a little bit now than to just wait till a little later. Even though the quest might take me there, I mean, better to just start doing it a little bit. Alright, um, let me go and mark the golden question mark into the map. So we can head there in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. And hope you guys have a great amazing day. We can night or wonder watching this. And I'm sorry for making this episode longer than it usually would be. Uh, that's because I mistakenly... I mistakenly sort of like went over time. And plus the main quest dragged it further ahead. So it was how it was. Otherwise, that's it for me in this episode. So Roz... Ah.